Hi guys, and welcome back to Outdoor Adventure Craft. Glad to see you again. I'm pretty excited to tell you guys about the winner of the 250 subscriber giveaway. Uh, we announced on the last video that we'd we'd launched that. I had uh, a bit of a nice weekend there. We had some time off. It was uh, Victoria Day weekend here in Canada. So I took some time and, and just let you guys respond to the video and stuff and I got some really positive responses, I'm, I'm happy to say. So uh, today, you guys probably watched the intro to the video so far, and that was just really a, you know, a, a not so subtle way of, of showing some of the uh, everyday carry items that I have with me. And I know I made a video back when I first started uh, on YouTube uh, showing my, uh, my belt pouch and some of the things that I keep in it. I didn't think I did a very good job with that video, and I think it's a really important subject, so I wanted to come out here today and show you guys what I brought with me. Plus, I've retooled it and I've changed some things around, so, so it's important I think I show you guys that. As well, like I said, we're going to talk about uh, the giveaway and uh, tell you guys who won. So, uh, let's get started here. Hey guys, so let's get into it. So let's start with, what, with what's on me right now. I took off my belt and some of the things on my waist, but I wanted to mention uh, my watch. Now this watch obviously tells the time, sets alarms, things like that, get you up on the trail and get you moving again. But it also has a barometer and altimeter. And the reason that's important, and we won't get too much into it right now, maybe we'll do a video on it again sometime, but having a barometer um, keeps you informed of barometric pressure changes. When the barometric pressure is stable or headed up, you're looking at uh, better weather or stable weather. If the barometric pressure is headed down or, or low, very likely uh, you're already experiencing some bad weather or you're gonna down the line. So having a barometer is, uh, is a good idea. Also on me right now, I got a couple paracord bracelets. Both of them have uh, buckle systems with whistles and fair CM rods. So those are just backup ferrous CMs. I've seen other videos where people show them work. You know, they don't throw as much uh, fire as a blast match or anything like that, but they do throw sparks, and if you've got char material, they're gonna work for you. All right, so back to the belt. Having stuff on your belt, obviously, is gonna start with a good belt. And what I've got here is a SOG Tactical. Now, I've had it for about, I'd say about nine months and there is a bit of wear on one spot here where uh, my jeans and pants and stuff rub the rub the buckle but it's not uh, it's not into the, the belt at all so it's uh, very very strong still but you will get some wear you can take a lighter and uh, to burn that off but I've uh, had really good uh, time with this so far basically the only fun thing I find is because of its thickness and the length I have to uh, I have to start it over between the two belt loops to the side instead of the middle. That way, when I close it, it closes across the front and not onto the gear where it won't be able to get at the velcro. So that's one thing I've noticed about that. In addition, uh, my iPhone I have it in Otter Box so that it's tough, but I have uh, this little ammo clip case, a little mag case that I got that I keep my iPhone in, and I have a couple of uh, molly webbing uh, plastic adapters there so that I can keep it on the uh, on the tactical belt. My knife, uh, the Camillus Bushcrafter, which I've had now for about three months. Um, I'd like to do a review on it soon. I've used it enough, done enough things with it now that I, I'm pretty sure I, I've got some stuff to say about it other than just showing me using it in the in the videos, but we'll get to that uh, some other time. Now in a more urban setting like day to day, I don't carry this. I'll switch it out for either a folder, a sheathed folder, or uh, a multi-tool with you know things that you'd come across in an urban setting or while I'm at work uh, doing maintenance things. Now, uh, so this is a little pocket pouch that I want to get into. I'm going to bring the camera in a little closer so we can break down uh, the individual things I have in here. Okay guys, so this is my main everyday carry pouch. It's just a generic camera bag uh, made by Targus, uh, for example, in this case. Uh, one of the reasons I chose it, it has a, a elastic side so it expands and holds your, your load quite well, as well as it has uh, two ways of fastening it to your belt. It has a temporary uh, Velcro strap for just temporary placing it back on if you need to have it on and off a lot, 
as well. It has a, a fully sewn stitched loop here for permanent use. That's what I use because I don't want to chance it coming off. Now one of the things uh, that's important about packing a pouch like this is making it usable. Uh, one of the things that I did was I made sure that commonly needed items were placed in an upright position. Like my flashlight can be taken out and replaced without disturbing the, uh, the contents of the, of the pouch so that you can easily reach for your hip, use your flashlight, lighter, replace it, uh, water purification tablets and a little pill bottle, replace it. Even the ferrocium rods, just a little bit of a dig there, but the ferrocium rods uh, upright as well. As well as a backup knife on the top there, should I just need a, a small knife for, for a small job. And those are all available and replaceable uh, within the pouch without having to, to empty it out. And that's important because this is an everyday carry. You don't want to have to take it off your waist uh, to get something out of the bottom of it that you use on a regular basis. So I packed it that way on purpose. So let's, uh, let's get a little deeper into it. So we talked about the flashlight. This is just a uh, Nebo AA light. Uh, you guys, any old light will do, you know, whatever you're used to using. But I pack a AA because uh, it's very form-fitted to the, to the pouch. I'll just set these things to the side. Bic lighter, uh, number one fire starting tool. You know, ferrocium and all those things uh, are good to have. Um, bow drills, you know, down the line they get harder and harder and harder with each each thing that you uh, you bring with you. But uh, you're you're never going to go wrong if you've got a bic lighter with you. Now, I mentioned water purification tablets. Got quite a few in here. Um, as well as my prescriptions, my daily prescriptions, just in case uh, I'm somewhere and haven't brought uh, a larger quantity. I've got a two-day supply in here. We mentioned water purification tablets, so one of the next things that's in here is a, a decent uh, bag. Now, I mentioned this because, you know, if you don't have any other container on you for, for purifying water, you can collect just a little less than a liter of water in here and then put yourself a water purification tablet in, wait 30 minutes, and you've got water, as well as you can carry uh, a small amount with you. Now this isn't a cheapy cheap bag. I don't know if it's the best out there you can get or not, but uh, it's a decent bag, it's thick, and it suits my purpose. And it folds up nice and provides you something there to purify water in. Now, also in the pack uh, was shown, easy to get out off the top, is a, a little backup knife. This is a Gerber uh, paraframe knife. I don't really use it for much. The serrations are still razor sharp and uh, so is the, the blade. Uh, sometimes I'll you know, cut cordage with this because it's got the nice serration on it or food because I keep it clean. You know, I don't do anything messy with it. But that's really just a backup knife. Uh, fishing kit. This is scalped out of a Survive Outside Longer by Adventure Medical uh, survival kit that I I parted out. It's got uh, hooks, lines, sinkers, swivels. It's also got uh, safety pins in there for doing repairs on clothing, things like that. And uh, yeah, and it's, it's probably about two inches long and a half an inch wide. So it's a great little container to have that fishing kit in. Uh, yeah, you saw also accessible uh, to be able to pull out vertically was fair CM rod. Now this can be struck uh, with my knife or with any with the with the Gerber or with anything else I happen to have with me but that's there probably one of the most important things in there obviously for long-term fire now we're getting into some of the uh, not as important stuff but be surprised how much I can fit in this bag types type of things uh, extra strength Tylenol and an Advil so you got ibuprofen and acetaminophen. So, you know, kind of, they target different types of uh, problems, but they more or less do the same thing. So I keep some of those in there. Crazy glue, uh, keep it in a little bag in case it leaks. I got a pack of crazy glue in here for doing uh, repairs on gear and clothing and things like that. So that's good to have. Uh, duct tape. I just took, uh, my wife's a diabetic, she had the syringes and I cut uh, a syringe section and I wrapped, wrapped the duct tape around it, um, so that works pretty good. I probably got about, uh, probably about 20 feet of duct tape there and that's nice and small and fits in there real easy. 
Now, this is one of the bigger items I keep in here, but this is a, you know, one of those space blankets, survival rescue blankets, and it's actually pretty big. It's uh, 52 inches wide, so that's actually like uh, five feet, not 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 quite five feet. 48 inches would be uh, four feet, so it's a little over four foot wide by 84 inches long. So it's uh, you know like in the range of six to seven feet by four feet. It's a pretty big. Uh, Pretty big little piece of uh, reflective material for helping you in shelter building. Uh, the other thing you could do with it would be uh, wear it inside of clothing like as kind of a moisture barrier. A moisture holds humidity so that would help to keep you warm. So that's nice. I like having that in there. Um, tinder. I've got some uh, tinder fungus here. Birch polypore mushroom. Uh, all broke up fine. Dried in a little uh, Ziploc bag here. Now that'll catch a spark really well and uh, give you an ember that you can uh, use with a, a bird's nest to blow into a flame or to uh, you know to help you start any other fire possibly in wet conditions where you really need to have uh, some dry tinder if you're having a hard time finding it so that's in there too yeah for one reason or another there I was reviewing the footage and uh, right about this point the camera uh, stopped filming so I'll just pick up where I left off uh, we're almost through the bag here guys uh, at the bottom I keep a bundle of cordage. It's a uh, hundred feet as well as a battery, a AA battery to back up uh, for the flashlight. Now I've just got that shoved inside there but your flashlight's not going to be much good to you if you don't have uh, a backup light if the other one dies. So also in here I have uh, at the back of the pouch, uh, it must have been designed for a credit card or something like that with the idea that the tourists would uh, maybe carry their camera in here and, and a credit card uh, maybe while they were in an amusement park or something like that because that's what this little secondary pouch, the size of it, is designed for. Now I use this for my uh, little first aid kit area. Now it's not much of a first aid kit but I'm forever scraping myself and dinging up my fingers uh, so I keep um, five or six standard size band-aids as well as a bunch of alcohol swabs now these are also great not just for cleaning up cuts and stuff uh, but because they're uh, doused in alcohol and made from cotton uh, they're good little uh, fire starting tools for you there so having those in uh, the first aid kit is a, a dual purpose so that's good now the last item in this pouch guys is uh, a button compass now this button compass is also parted out of a Survive Outside Longer uh, Wilderness Medicine first aid kit. And like, you know, in addition to your phone or GPS or compass that you've got in your main pack, if uh, all else gets lost and you've still got this thing strapped on your hip, uh, you've got a compass there uh, to help you in navigation. And these particular small little button compasses actually work pretty good. Liquid filled and they, uh, they turn quite well. So that's an important thing to have. And that's it for the pouch, guys. Uh, I had gotten out in the, the footage that crapped out on me, my wallet and my keys. I was gonna show you guys, uh, in addition to uh, obviously carrying my keys here, um, I've got a locking carabiner, which is good for, uh, for hanging your food up over a tree or something like that in bear country or for uh, rescue. But in addition, I have, um, another ferris cm rod one of those cheapy ones from the dollar store and a magnesium block so there's a ferris cm rod there and uh, a third or a backup to the backup knife this is a little gerber uh, basically i don't know just like a keychain knife really it's only about three quarters of an inch long not much more than a box cutter uh, but if you've got nothing else and you need to cut some cordage this or shave some uh, you know some tinder or kindling this works pretty good also i had gotten out uh, my wallet because in my wallet I have two more blades that I can show you guys that round out my everyday carry uh, this is one of the uh, Sinclair uh, credit card knives that you fold open so that's an additional blade there so that's good to have it just fits in your uh, your wallet and one of these cheapy uh, eBay multi tools with the, the can opener uh, the uh, metric nut sizes there for uh, taking off nuts and bolts as well as a saw blade can opener and a, and a blade there they're they're not much good for anything uh, the the can opener works great 
the uh, the bottle opener and the can opener work fine but you're not going to saw anything with this uh, and you're not going to cut anything with this but i do i do like it because uh you know just every day uh, if you're at a bonfire with friends or whatever and you need to open a, a bottle of beer and this is good for opening cans of beans the can opener does work uh, quite well i have used that and it has a little bit of a, a measuring ruler on it but the rest of the tool they're a buck so i carry that tool as well so that's it guys that's my edc uh let's move this camera and uh round out this video hey folks so sorry that took so long uh, there's a lot of stuff in that pouch and you know it's actually pretty well thought out i've put a lot of thought into what's in there i've changed it a couple of times um, an upcoming video is going to show me attempt to go out and stay out a night with nothing but what's in that pouch I think I'll do all right. You know, there's some implements there for setting up shelter, uh, purifying water. So I think in addition to being uh, well dressed for the uh, for the conditions, if I go out, I should be able to, you know, make a, a small shelter and you know get myself some water and and spend the night out. So we're going to do that in an upcoming video. And what I'll do is if you know if there's something I didn't use while I was out that night, it's coming out. If there's something that I wish I had. Um, it's going in because I've never actually tested uh, this particular pouch you know because you know as someone who hunts and fishes and uh, gets out in the woods doing all kinds of stuff even making these videos right I don't know when something's gonna happen and you know everything you look at says don't run off and freak out and get yourself more lost hunker down you know if you can make yourself a small shelter uh, get yourself some water to drink uh, maybe have a small fire a lot of times rescue can be affected by uh, you know the emergency services within 24 hours or so hopefully you know if you've told people where you were going and told them what time to expect you back and and things like that they're gonna know where to look for you now if you're way off the beaten track that's a whole other story you know some of these tools are gonna gonna get you ways but you know you're gonna need to have a, a lot more with you so I thought we'd test it on a short-term basis so that's it guys that's really all I I had to say about uh, everyday carry stuff don't leave home without it uh, get in the get in the habit of carrying it if you don't have it with you it's not going to do you any good it doesn't matter you know if you're if you've gone down to the store or if you've gone out uh, 15 kilometers into the woods get in the habit of carrying it you know at first I thought maybe people would look at me a little weird because I had some stuff on my pouch and then I started realizing I didn't care I like the look of it you know it fits with uh, it fits with my attire so I don't think it looks at a place you know maybe if I was wearing a business suit or something like that and I had like a you know a Bowie knife on might be a little weird but I think it works uh, so yeah again that's really all, all I wanted to say about the EDC guys. And uh, so to wrap up the video, again, I wanted to mention uh, how happy and thankful I am, guys, with uh, all the uh, subscribers, the viewership, uh, your guys' support. The 250 subscriber giveaway went amazing. I, I, I didn't expect it to go so well. In the time between when I filmed it uh, for 250 subscribers and now when I'm talking to you about it less than a week later, I'm at 350 subscribers and that's you guys uh, watching my videos and you know I'm just out here I'm having a good time doing it and I'm so glad that you guys are having a good time watching it uh, the winner of the 250 subscriber giveaway was Randy Adamson uh, from Seattle so as soon as I get in touch with them I've messaged them and stuff like that as soon as I get in touch with them I'm gonna be sending that off to them so congratulations Randy I'm really excited for you and I hope it comes in handy I hope you like it and uh, I think we're gonna do it again at 500 uh, it's not very far off and then we'll do it at a thousand and then we'll look at every thousand uh, going forward for giveaways and stuff like that so guys other than saying thank you again for uh, for watching and subscribing and enjoying the videos, uh, you know, be careful, take it easy, uh, you know, research, get the knowledge. Knowledge is irreplaceable. Gear you can you can go buy, right? But uh, other than that, guys, uh, thanks again for joining me here on Outdoor Adventure Craft, and we'll see you next time. All right, let's go. Let's go.